get an invoice from y'all for that that amount of money? I mean, I, I've never received an invoice. For this? Look, look that, so that's the letter that they sent last June. You need something other than that? I mean, I'd, I'd like to just have, I mean, do y'all just issue invoices? Can you just do an invoice for that amount? We can. I'd appreciate that. Yeah. that well, have some, so, you know. other than that letter, you want something other than the letter? Yeah, if you just have something with an invoice, an invoice number, something that we can run through our system. And, okay. Um, and attach what might, somebody come through and did a pro rata share of yeah, if you want to, if you want to attach that, that's fine. You know, to do that, but uh, that that way I can, you know, turn around and get that on through and get it back to you. We'll put it on the, uh, and give it an invoice number or put it on the city like that. Okay. Well, we certainly appreciate y'all doing the detail. We covered that. Right I think before. I'm one for you and Raven in particular. That don't get done. And uh, um, so it was very, very much needed and kept that in the pound. Flowing and commerce yeah. still coming across that state line. So. As, as tough as those projects were to do, uh, I thought it, it went pretty well. Mm -hmm. And uh, wasn't a whole lot of interference with, with the day to day stuff. And now that it's complete, and, and like I said, you know, it's going to be there a, a long time. Uh, that, that What you had in there was, was not good, trust me. And, and it was going to be a disaster for the city of Red Bay uh, because it, it was corrugated metal pipe should never, ever, ever have been put under Golden Oak. Yeah. But, you know, hey, different world, different time. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, anyway, it's, it's good now. I recall, didn't they, the county or the state one screwed something up because we begged for that roundabout, that uh, detour, and they wouldn't do it, didn't have the money, couldn't do it, all this and that, and then they missed a bid date or something. Somebody didn't get their paperwork in, either the county, I think it was the county, and then all of a sudden they come up and they could do that. That's all for record. Uh, <laughs> Council meeting of July 24th, 2017, to order, and we will ask uh, Mr. Benson to give the invocation and Mr. Kennedy the, pl uh, the Pledge of Allegiance, please. Gracious Heavenly Father God, I thank you so much for all the many blessings that you have bestowed upon us, Lord. Uh, especially the blessing of Jesus Christ on Calvary's cross, Lord. Thankfully, He rose again, Lord, and sits at your hand today. God, I pray that you would watch over and protect us, Lord, lead and guide us, give us wisdom to make decisions that. Uh, or based upon your word, Lord, that will be beneficial to the people of this town, God. I pray that we would act in a manner that will be pleasing to you all the time in our lives, Lord, no matter where we're at. So I pray that you would watch over the city, watch over employees, keep them safe, and keep them healthy and strong, God. We love you, and we thank you for all these things. In Jesus' name, amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America 
and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mayor Fancher is on vacation for a few days, so uh, that's where she is tonight. So, uh, first thing our agenda is persons to address the council. There are none in the audience. Uh, so that leads us to the report of officers. Uh, Fire Chief Bud Strickland, do you have anything? I'll have anybody. Anybody have anything for Bud? Yeah. Uh, Chief of Police, Janet Jackson. I don't have anything to report. Uh, anybody have anything for the Chief? Thank you, Chief. Uh, Park and Rec Director, Dean Hubbard. Just going to inform y'all a little bit. We've got soccer sign up starting right now. that will run through the 17th of August. Uh, that way we'll have at least a week or so to, to get it to the school. And, uh, Jason has helped us. We have that on the website now. So you can click on there and pay online. This is our kind of our trial run to make sure this is all going to work like we hope it does. And uh, so we've got that up. Also, we're getting ready for Founders Day. We've got our barbecue contest. Uh, information on there and I know Tracy's going to be posting a lot of stuff on there for that so uh, water parks doing really good doing real good we've had a good summer uh, a lot of hard work from a lot of different people but uh, we, it's kind of got a, a rhythm of how things go now and there's a lot of people come through there so uh, that's been it's been really good and everybody that comes through brags on it so just want to keep uh, telling y'all how that how that's been received and I uh, appreciate all the work that y'all done to help us do that for sure. When's the pool close? The pool, the uh, the pool will close August the fourth. Will be the last day that it closes. It, that's over there the week because school starts back, and then it'll be open on the weekends all the way through. I guess it's the first of September for parties. And we've still got like twenty something parties on the book, so we've still got a lot to go. That's all I've got. Anything for Dean? Um, I know they're getting trained to use the website. Are all y'all able to post stuff on Facebook as well? Jason and I were just talking about that. Uh, one day next, he's going to be gone the rest of this week. So next week, all the ladies are going to sit down. And Charlie wants us all to sit down and all learn how to do it at one time. And he's, you might want to comment yeah, on that. Well, no, Facebook, though, that's something. I don't oh, you said Facebook. I'm sorry. Yeah, they 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 get on Facebook. Mike could set that up, and they still use that at the pool every day. But it's going to be linked together once we get it like we want. So when you post on one, it'll it'll go to the other. Thank you. Director of Operations, Mike Schubert. A couple of items. Uh, one item is on uh, public drainage. Uh, I think the uh, mayor checked with our city attorney and he said it would be permissible if, uh, for us to clean those right of ways and make sure that they're clean as far as debris and weeds and stuff. And we need just kind of approval from the council to make sure that the council wants to go into that as well. Uh, and we've got several. Uh, waterways or drainage ditches that goes through private property, but yet it benefits numerous people, and uh, that's kind of what we're talking about. But we need to get a release from those property owners before we went and, and got on that property. Uh, uh, is the council okay with all that? I mean, you're going to get an easement if needed then um, between the ditch and the portion. Yeah, I think we'd need to get these, you know, that way uh, uh, it would be kind of a, a drainage from, uh, from, from different property on to other property. And one of them's in the McCarthy subdivision okay. that we would, uh, that comes through and it goes under numerous streets down through there. And then if it gets dammed up, then it causes us problem cost and the, and the property owner as well. That's kind of what we're talking about. Not just there, but in, in several other places. You know, like the uh, one that comes from Sunshine, goes under Golden Road, under uh, North Avenue, uh, Sixth Avenue North, down to the water park under 11. You know, and, and if it gets blocked up somewhere, it creates problems for us 
on the right of way as well. So that's kind of what we're talking about. I think anytime that you're uh, fixing a ditch to drain the town, my opinion is that it's benefiting everybody. But it's always a good time if you're going to have to cross over from city property to, to get into that ditch. If we're going to do something to help somebody to help us. It's a good time to get that easement. Okay. That way well, you've got it for the future. That's my thoughts on it. So, uh, and I think that's a good policy to have that uh, easement to be able to get to it, the property that, that yeah. uh, affects the city streets. Okay. The city you should uh, pursue that. I know there's one business down the road you know, that's had a ditch problem for as long as I've been up here. Uh, you know, they need a wall or something, but you can, you know. I don't know if you need action from us to, to do that or what? Well, I think what we need to do probably is, is if it's, it's permissible and it's uh, uh, in y'all's line of thought that we start getting those easements and, and do that and come back to the council with those easements to do it. And that's y'all approved. <coughs> I think that's good idea. Uh, another uh, issue we've got is we've got uh, some industry that uh, is needing some concrete poured where the, it'll be on city property, uh, but it will uh, affect those businesses as far as getting in and out of it. And uh, we're talking probably around $1,500. And just want to make sure that it's permissible. It, like I say, it's on city property. Uh, it's uh, broke loose, and we just need to make sure we're on the same page with it. Is that the one I talked about? Right. Yeah. That is Golden Road. Yeah. Uh, that's when the street, street committee had been contacted by the business, and uh, that one is already on us, but the concrete broke loose where that ditch is at, and so they're wanting to expand their business and come around the back side, but they're wanting us to pour where the ditch was at mm -hmm. to shore that up. And, and then we got one on uh, 33rd Street uh, Southwest. The same situation, and, and you know, I'll talk to the mayor of that when she gets back as well. That's one thing for the city council. Uh, also, want to remind you that Jerry Davis is requesting to go uh, permanent full time. He is temporary full time now, and just bring it to your attention that uh, he is wanting to go full time permanent. And he's mentioned that numerous times, and I think he's met, mentioned to the street. So I just want to bring that to you. That's Jerry, all I've got. Jerry did get certified. He is I certified landfill operator now. That's good. That's what I've got. Thank you. We'll call you back up on the on the side. Anybody have anything else for Mike? Page two, the agenda is says to accept the agenda as presented, but we need to revise the agenda and add old business number two which is approving the issuance of $120,292.60, but not correct me if I'm wrong, uh, to the Franklin County Commission, or Franklin Highway Department for the construction engineering on the Aldot A-Trip project as we discussed there in the work session. So um, I need a motion to add that as old business number two, first of all. Motion. Second. Motion. Benson, a second by Mr. Kennedy. Uh, roll call vote. Yay. 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 Uh, that approved. We're good there, Linda. Correct me if I need it. So, uh, old business. Resolution number 17 07 24, a resol resolution revising the building permit fees and replacing all other resolutions for the city of this nation. Uh, there's an attachment in old business number one uh, resolution uh, says a resolution to amend and replace any previous resolution as it relates to the city of Red Bay building permits charges and fees whereas the city of Red Bay has always charged a fee for building permits within the city limits of Red Bay for structures being built from the ground and our additions on the present structures therefore be it resolved further resolved the city of Red Bay building permit can only be purchased by the property owner Therefore, be it further resolved, if the new building is commercial or in industry, the contractor must have a state commercial license and present number and license before a city but a business license can be purchased from the city of Red Bay. Therefore, be it further resolved that effective immediately the permanent fees within the city limits shall be as follows. Evaluation of new structures, additions, 
$5,000 or less, a flat $25 fee, $5,001 to $20,000 a $50 flat fee, and $20,000 and up, $75. Uh, if this is adopted, it would be as of today's date. Uh, this was uh, what we discussed at the last meeting and uh, discussed different recommendations, and this is the proposal to adopt this resolution. Any uh, discussion before we... If not, then we need to entertain a motion to approve, adopt, both. We we'll do it all at once. Pass resolution 1707 that's two four. Make a motion we have pass resolution 1707 two four. Got a motion by Mr. Benson. I second. Any other discussion? Roll call vote, Mr. Kennedy. Yeah. Yeah. Yay. 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 Motion carries. I just want to make mention this does erase the fees we're tearing down. Correct? It does. There is no longer a fee for cleaning up a property. That's correct. Brian, did we approve the amended agenda or did we just vote to add business? Linda, what did we do? Well, I thought you uh, amended and approved all in one motion. Okay. okay. I just wanted, I didn't know if we covered it all. <laughs> Y'all have to check. Okay. All right. Uh, old business number two uh, as revised to approve the 120 29260 to the Frank County Highway Department um, to issue an invoice as directed uh, by uh, County, Com uh, County Engineer Palmer. And then, uh, Linda, to mark your calendar for a week or so later to make sure we've got our seventy-eight thousand dollars back. So. Well, we got to pay the hundred twenty before. We're gonna pay before. Yes. yes. Uh, that's that's what I understood. Yeah, that's what yeah. I think our understanding is. Yes. Um, <clears throat> now that we understand why they're having to do it the way they do, so. Well, you should not check. And do the invoice to go with it. Right. I make a motion. We approve this. Second. Uh, motion by Mr. Massey, second by Mr. Spencer. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion approved. New business. Item number one. Council to approve the refinancing of the second half of the 2009 debt service issue with the savings to be taken up front approximately $140,000, which is an 8% savings, and place an interest-bearing uh, fund earmarked for paving products, projects. The interest rate on this section of the bond will drop from an average of 4.73 down to an average of 2.10%. Uh, the funds to make the monthly payment will continue to be transferred from the general fund, the sewage fund, and the occupational fund as um, dictated. So. Um, I need a motion to proceed with the next step of reading the ordinance, first of all. Motion. Second. Motion by Mr. Kennedy. Second by Mr. Massey. Um, regular vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. Uh, we had discussed uh, this refinance uh, in our work session a few weeks ago, maybe back in late June. Uh, Johnny Dill, who is our uh, bond counsel with uh, Joe Jolly and Company, had come down and met with uh, the mayor and I back in the first of the year. He's probably been here, here three times up until May. Was watching the market. Uh, just kind of some added information here just for your knowledge. Uh, after the election of uh, President Trump, the market kind of went the other way with expectations for tax reform more than anything. So it was not going to be advantageous probably for the bond to be refinanced. Uh, the, the market has kind of settled down as 2017 has carried on, and Johnny has continued to keep a watch on uh, the market. So uh, he had uh, contacted us, and that's when the, the mayor and I had uh, told you guys about it at our council meeting. 30 days ago maybe, uh, just kind of um, a work session that this may be coming to fruition, it could happen or whatnot. Um, and, you know, we talked about if we could save some money, uh, set aside some money for paving projects. So the thing kind of escalated here 
uh, in the last couple of weeks uh, where that the window for being able to do the refinance was closing on us because you've got a certain amount that you can refund by certain dates. So uh, Johnny wasn't able to you know, get back down here to, to get the mayor enough information to uh, for the mayor to get with us to, to give something formal prior to tonight, uh, uh, I suppose. And uh, so uh, the mayor had uh, mentioned to me last week uh, that Johnny had called, needed an answer, it's fixing to take it to bid, you know, for the for the bond proposal. So uh, they have taken the, the bond to, to bid uh, to come up with what our average of our rates is going to be to be here tonight. So that's kind of where we're playing a little catch up in the thing and uh, to take the, the, the action that we need tonight. So. Uh, if you will flip to your new business item number two in your agenda, uh, this uh, will all be laid out as we as we move along here. So, item number two is ordinance number 17-07.24, an ordinance to refinance the second half of the 2009 debt service. Do they all have that? No. 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 Okay. Okay. All right, so uh, new, new business item number two, I now call for a motion to introduce ordinance number 1707.24 and ordinance pro to provide for the refinancing <coughs> of the second half of the 2009 bond debt. And I need a motion. I a motion to introduce this ordinance 1707.24. Got a motion for Mr. Benson. Second. Second for Mr. Massey. Roll call vote. Yay. 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 And that motion passes. I'm going to read the ordinance too. Ordinance number 17 dash 07, not dash, dots 07 dot 24. An ordinance to provide for the issuance of $1,740,000 aggregate principal amount of general obligation <coughs> warrants. Series 2017, dated August 3rd, 2017, of the City of Red Bay. Section 2, findings with respect to refunding the warrants. The Council has ascertained and found and does hereby declare as follows. A, it will be advantageous to the City and to its taxpayers for warrants here and under authorized to be issued for the purpose of refunding on current basis the 2009 warrants, thereby achieving a debt service savings for the City. Uh, item B, the council deems it necessary, desirable, and in the public interest that the warrants here and after authorized be issued for the pur purposes here and above described and item C, the city is not in default in the payment of the principal or any of the interest of the 2009 warrants. Section 3, authorization and description of the warrants. Principal maturities and interest rates pursuant to the applicable provisions of the constitutions and laws of Alabama including particularly section 11-47-2 and section 11-81-4 of the Code of Alabama 1975 as amended and for the purposes here and above stated, they are hereby authorized to be issued by the city 1,740,000 aggregate principal amount of general obligation warrants series 2017. The warrants shall be issued as fully registered warrants without coupons shall be dated August 3rd, 2017, adopted and approved this 24th day of July 2017. So, uh, I now call for a motion to present Ordinance 17 07 dot 24. No dash is in it. Motion. Mr. Benson, Mr. Kennedy, roll call vote again. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. All in the affirmative. I now call for a motion to suspend the rules and give immediate consideration to this ordinance 17.07.24. Motion. Mr. Massey and Mr. Benson, need a roll call vote. Yay. 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 And that passes. Now, any discussion before we adopt the ordinance of what we're trying to accomplish here? Uh, I will say that a year ago, uh, there about um, when we first issued these bonds in 2009 um, it was around three million dollars so three point five maybe and we issued new money at that time and y'all remember that the previous administration council updated some equipment bought the industrial park set aside some funds for further capital improvements 
uh, and that was set up on an original 20-year maturity, I, I believe, uh, with part of that being a refinance of the 2004, maybe, bond, I think, 2002. So uh, part of that was eligible for refinance last year, and now this is eligible for refinance this year. Uh, so that your bondholders knows when it's going to be called and all that kind of stuff. So we're blessed that the market is where that it still is and that we're going to be able to bring that interest rate down from the 4.73 uh, down to 2.10. Wow. Uh, so that's a, quite a savings there. Uh, you know, the savings was actually, you know, greater than that. And you, you got some issuance cost on the new, but still the net still 8%, which is uh, very good. Uh, and uh, the city will be able to set aside those savings into a fund that we're going to earmark for potential paving projects. Uh, and then in addition, uh, we, we're not putting any burden on future generations of the city further than where we're at now. It's a 12-year maturity. It's going to continue to be a 12-year maturity. So it uh, seems to be a win-win for everyone. So any questions before I call for a motion to adopt? It's already bid, right? It is bid out, ready to go, subject to our approval. All right, I now call for a motion to adopt ordinance number 17.07.24. Motion. Second. Mr. Kenny, motion. Mr. Benson, second. Roll call vote, please. Yay. 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 Motion has now officially been adopted. Uh, by the adoption of this ordinance, authority is given to the mayor and city clerk slash treasurer to sign all documents associated with the refinancing of the debt. In order to have the second half of 2009 debt service refinance, Moody's Investor Service had to first review the financial standing of the city and assign a rating. The city was assigned a rating of A2, which is an excellent rating for a municipality for the size of Red Bay and they reaffirmed that rating from last year's rating. Uh, the refinance debt can be paid off in full in the year 2022 with no penalty, so that's our first call date, and uh, if the council that at that time desires to do so, uh, the maturity date will be October 1st, 2029, when the city will be out of debt. Linda, did it cover it all? I believe that Right. Item number three, then. Uh, review and discuss present brush charges, which are currently $10 per bucket, $5 per partial bucket, $50 per truck load, and $25 per partial truck load. So, Mr. Schubert, if you'll come back up, this was an issue that came up at our street park committee with Mike and the mayor and myself and three guys that perhaps it was time to adjust this uh, somewhat since this has not been touched in a long time. So go ahead, Mike. Uh, we've kind of discussed it uh, in, in cubic yards of our truck, and what our dump truck will haul and what our brush truck will haul. And you know, we, we purchased a brush truck a couple of years ago and it's been uh, advantageous for us to, to allow it to be able to load without a backhoe, without a lot of manpower. But still, you know, when it starts, when we go to the landfill, those fees have not been changed since 2008 as well. So, and, and fuel cost has gone up and everything. Uh, $20 a bucket, $10 a partial bucket, $150 a load, and $75 for a partial load. Uh, and that, uh, our, our brush truck will hold more than three times what the dump trucks will. So let's, uh, let's talk about that again. Your recommendation is to go from $10 per bucket to 20 per bucket. Mm -hmm. Uh, $10 per partial bucket right. versus five currently. And then I lost you after 150 that. for a truck load and then 75 for a partial. And uh, from what we understood from the meeting, uh, Ron stated that uh, this new truck holds much more than what the other It'll hold over three times what yeah. a dump truck And that's why that uh, the the, the truck load should be more because you're taking a whole lot more tonnage to the way field whenever you do this. Right. Now keep in mind that we still have two cleanup weeks a, a, a right. year that are free. That are free. So, and um, then, then we at the following year we pick up leaves from around October all the way to January yeah. free. 
So yeah. you know, we're, we're providing a lot of free services. That is the recommendation. Um, you guys need time to mull that over. Do you want to think about that until the next meeting, or are you prepared to act on it tonight? Discussion. I think we ought to go ahead and move on it. Mike knows what the cost is, additional cost we have. And you know, why put it off? Let's just go ahead and that's my that's my thinking. Okay. You put that form in motion? I will if you want the motion. Mr. True Love. Uh, has a motion on the table to accept these recommendations as presented and could we Mr. Trulove make that effective August 1? August 1, we'll yes. Process that through. I have a second. I'll have a second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, Mike. <coughs> Mr. Kennedy, you have item number four, Red Bay Education Grant. Okay. We've got uh, three items. Uh, these are, the committee doesn't meet uh, again until mid September once school starts back. So these were brought, uh, a couple of them are. are things that need to get taken care of immediately before we wait another two months uh, for a meeting. First is uh, a more for the school. Uh, we came across the opportunity to buy a good demo model that had been used by a sod farm, uh, well taken care of, uh, that they could buy for $3,500. Uh, they have two currently. and. One of them, I think, is uh, maybe inoperable at this time. The other one's not in real good shape. and um, So this was a, a good product at a, at a very fair price and something that uh, they didn't think they needed to pass on. Could get it for $3,500. Uh, Franklin County uh, Development Commission is going to participate uh, a thousand dollars in it, so they're asking for twenty-five uh, hundred dollars from the <coughs> education committee. <coughs> Any questions? Maybe I'd answer if I can. Uh, the next one is something that we've we've done since we've been on the council. Has been going on, I think, for twenty-five years. That uh, had a. Uh, renewal of uh, with the Red Bay News for an annual subscription for uh, I don't know exactly how many papers it is but we've been doing it for 25 years uh, that go to the school uh, that are used in different uh, classrooms uh, to discuss current events and things of that nature uh, that's a hundred hundred and forty five dollars is uh, what that fee is. And then the last request uh, is from the band from uh, Jonathan Hill. Uh, it's a request for for four thousand dollars. It, uh, it's my understanding that uh, we've borrowed the, these baritones from Phil Campbell for quite a few years now, and they have. They have asked for them back. Uh, it's, it's not only used uh, during the band proceedings, but it's used. Jonathan uses them as a teaching tool in his in his classrooms, uh, in his music classes. Uh, the commission, Franklin County Commission, again is going to pick up the the cost of one. So instead of needing six thousand, uh, they're asking for four thousand. I asked Linda to give us an education fund balance sheet just so we knew where we stood. Um, and uh, I think she emailed that to 
who uh, she did. Uh, and uh, you can say that as of July 31, that there's actually $254,000 in the education fund. However, we have obligated uh, 112 of that through the computer lease and other approved requests that's got contingency. So we've got net unobligated funds of 141, uh, and we have expended $87,000 of the taxpayers' funds back to that school uh, since 9:30 of last year. Um, so we've got a actually $18,000 surplus from what's one end versus that. So just thought that'd be good for us to see that every now and then of how much that we put at the school and what we've really got available for the uh, Y'all want to take these one by one or you want to do them all at one? I'll put them in a, uh, if you don't have any more questions, I'll put them all in the form of a motion, all three of them at one time. It's just a real mower, like a yeah. real type. Yeah. Zero turn or something. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Kennedy has put in motion to approve all three grants number four, five, four, six, and four, seven as presented. Second. All in any other discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Item number five, the planning commission. Jimmy Mayfield requests his resignation be accepted due to health issues. This is a six-year term expiring uh, December 3rd, 2018. Uh, we would need a motion to accept and post until 8-7-17 at 12 noon. Make a motion. Second. Motion by Mr. Massey and a second by Mr. Kennedy. Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. <coughs> Linda, we got all of our old business and new business taken care of. Need to approve the invoices as presented for payment. Motion. Second. Motion by Mike. Second by Jerry. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Approved minutes for a council meeting and a work session held on July the 10th, 2017. Motion to approve the minutes. Second. Motion by Jared, second by Jason. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. <coughs> Announcement. The next regular scheduled meeting of the Red Bay City Council will be held Monday, August 7, 2017, 7 o'clock p.m. The meeting will be held in the Red Bay City Hall Council Room 203, 4th Avenue Southeast, Red Bay, Alabama. 35582. A work session will proceed the meeting by 30 minutes. Item number two, the Red Bay Farmers Market will open on June 1st and remain open until September 30th, 2017. The market open each Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday uh, at 7. The market is located next to uh, the Red Bay Water Park. Uh, each job was given a letter by email today from Tiffin Motor Motorhomes addressed to Mayor Fancher. Uh, that thank the, uh, the mayor, the city council, and uh, Mr. Schubert for extending the aprons out on the Highway 11 North parking lot, uh, which they say has greatly enhanced an issue that's been <coughs> long standing. So uh, they certainly appreciate it, and uh, uh, I thank each one of you guys for always being supportive of our industry in town. So, uh, one thing other that I have is uh, school will be starting back. Uh, Chief, I guess, will be. He's still here. Uh, Blue will be maybe patrolling or reminding folks to slow down as school starts back. Yes. And uh, y'all make constant visits to the school during the school day and are visible, and we thank you for that. So, uh, Mr. Benson, anything for the council? Okay. Mr. Trillo? Uh, earlier, I talked to Dean about uh, a couple of young boys from Hoover came up and was at the water park yesterday and they came to my house just bragging about that. But my son lives in Iuka, tells about people from Iuka coming down here. And hey, we got a great thing going here. And appreciate what you all do and appreciate what Mike and his crew does around the city, city street department, sewer department, all that. 
Massey. Have nothing tonight. Mr. Kennedy. Everything. Uh, one other thing I failed to mention was the Dempsey, the Dempsey Foundation held their annual fundraiser uh, this past Friday night uh, at the Weatherford Center. Uh, they are going to move that uh, next year to a spring event just because so many people was out of town and whatnot. Still had a ballroom full of people. Mr. Trulove was there. Yes. And Mr. Trulove correctly answered when he was married to the day. 52 years ago, right? 55, 55 years ago. That's <laughs> what I He was one of the wisest one in the room that had been married the longest. Him and uh, I think Katrin Moore maybe was second. To, so so uh, he did not get in trouble Friday night. He knew it and ran it off very quickly. Uh, but the Red Bay Hospital uh, is an asset that this city has that cannot be understated. Uh, anybody that's in business knows how important uh, whenever you get your Blue Cross Blue Shield renewals every year. And I can attest to you that uh, the only reason that people in Red Bay don't get greater leaps in insurance coverage from what I found out even this week is because the Red Bay Hospital is still, and I butcher this term, either a, a, a level one or a tier something hospital, a critical care hospital. If we did not have the critical care component of this hospital, then our citizens uh, uh, and the businesses that it represents, insurance rates would be much, much higher. And so uh, it is very important that we always support that hospital, uh, support the efforts uh, that, that it does, not only for that critical component of all these people working here and having that first line of defense, but um, because it is here, uh, people's insurance rates are certainly lower. So that is a blessing, and I thank all those who uh, um, are part of the hospital, uh, Huntsville Hospital's commitment to keeping Red Bay Hospital viable, and those organizations that, like the Dempsey Foundation that continues to fund scholarships for our young people that's going in the medical field and making improvements down there. So uh, we're blessed to have that. Need a motion to adjourn. Motion. Thank you. I'll say aye. Aye. Thank you. I didn't know